I'm Zane, and welcome to Go to Kyoto. We're your student ambassadors for the BOSB Kyoto program, and today we're going to talk about five things that you should do while you're in Kyoto. Now, there are definitely more than five things to do in Kyoto, but here are just some of our favorites to get you started. Number one, Kiyo Mizudera, Kinkakuji, and Fushimi Inari. Now, if you looked into must sees in Kyoto, you've definitely heard of these three temples. And let me re emphasize, you have to make time for these. Kiyomisudera has the famous Otowa waterfall, where the waters are divided into three separate streams. Drinking the water from one of the three streams is said to grant from left to right academic success, success in love, and longevity. But you can only drink from one, or else you will be seen as too greedy and not receive any of the benefits. Which one would you drink from? Also, be sure to check out the surrounding area because there's a, real, a lot of really cool traditional Japanese things. Then there's also the famed Golden Pavilion, Kinkakuji. It's Kyoto's most iconic site. It's pretty crowded, so try and pick a time when the crowds aren't really there because it's a must see while you're in Kyoto. Fushimi Inari Shrine is also a very important sh Shinto shrine that's famous for its thousands of tori gates behind its main buildings in the network of trails up the mountain. It's a great hike, but expect it to be crowded. It's a huge tourist destination. Number two, Kaioke. For those of you who don't know, kara means empty, and oke is short for orchestra. So Kaioke literally means empty orchestra. These places serve food and drink while you're singing, and you can even sometimes get discounts for students and groups. So find a group and hang out for the evening. Trust us, you don't have to be an amazing singer to have a good time at karaoke. They have a huge selection of English songs, so go out there and sing your hearts out. You can even try your hand at a few classical Japanese songs. This is one of those pastimes in Japan that practically everyone does, so be sure to give it a try while you're in Kyoto. Number three, izakayas. In Japan, izakayas are all over the place. They're basically low-key bars with lots of food. Imagine a Buffalo Wild Wings, but with less TVs and a lot more Japanese food instead. It's a place where people go, especially young college students, to just gather with buddies and have a really good time. Izakayas also usually have uh, all-you-can-eat and all-you-can-drink deals if you go in a large group, so you should definitely take advantage of those. Now, it's not an experience for everyone, but it's something anybody can do, even if you choose not to drink. There's a ton of cool different Japanese foods, and a lot of different non-alcoholic beverages that you can choose to have or not. Now, we do recommend going with some Japanese friends because they know what's good. It's definitely an experience to try while you're there. Also, do keep in mind that the drinking age in Japan is 20, not 21, so do with that what you will. If you're interested, then go ahead and talk to some cask members that are going to be there while you're abroad. And if you don't know what cask is, you should definitely watch the cask video that we made. The link is down below, so check it out. Number four, a picnic on Kamo River. Right next to Doshisha University is the large and famous Kamogawa. The riverbanks are popular walking spots for both residents and tourists alike. There are these really nice walking pathways along the sides of the river that you can walk on, run on, and bike along, and some stepping stones that you can use to cross the river. These include the famous Turtle Rock Stepping Stones, which are featured in various Japanese movies and anime shows, if you watch them. Kamogawa is also a fantastic place to have a picnic. Gather your group of friends and go to the nearest convenience store, buy a delicious bento box, lay down your blanket or mat on the banks of the river, and enjoy! It's super re relaxing to just sit along the river with your feet in the water, chat with your friends, and enjoy the Kyoto scenery. If you have a musical instrument like a guitar, ukulele, saxophone, trumpet, violin, you name it, feel free to bring it along and play a few tunes. Or bring a book and enjoy reading under the shade of the trees. Number five, wearing a yukata or kimono and walking around Kyoto. 
So one of the more touristy but still amazing things that you can do in Kyoto is renting traditional Japanese clothing and walking around the city. It's a pretty cool experience just to, you know, wear kimonos or yukatas and being able to visit all these tourist attractions. It's a great opportunity to gather all of your friends and do an awesome photo shoot. And as Ming was saying just now, the real reason why you want to wear all these outfits is because you're going to get incredible photos. You can go up into Gion and try and take a photo with a real geisha. That might be interesting. Or go all the way into Arashiyama, into the bamboo forests with your kimono or yukata. Or you could go back up to Kiyomizubera and go in through the different side streets in Sannenzaka and Ninenzaka and look really, really like you're straight out of some sort of Japanese film. And that was five things that you should do while you're in Kyoto. Be on the lookout for future Go to Kyoto videos talking about other cool things that you can do in Kyoto. And if you want to watch any of our other Go to Kyoto videos so far, the links are going to be down below. My name is Zane. And I'm Megan. Thank you for watching. Matane! Alright, ready? Uh, hang on, I gotta get my acting face on. <laughs> ma. 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 <laughs> Bike along. And there are also stepping stones that cross the river that you can go across the river. <laughs> <clears throat> Was that filming? <laughs> oh! Loopers! No, no, no. <laughs> You're not putting that in the loopers. That's not going into any loopers. That is not going to exist. Okay,